it's 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 enough already. Like the Knicks again. Like where is Leon Rose? What is his plan? Well, at what this point, story? I mean, he's, there's nothing he's going to do for the rest of the year. So no, but I would like to ask him. I'm like, all right. So we un- I understood why he did nothing last year. He stood pat, and you know, and again, it goes back to. You know, and they didn't have RJ, but also, you know, OKC wasn't playing with their two uh, best, highest scores uh, either last night. But you know, here's here's the thing: like your your team is so bad that nobody wanted anything from you. Yeah, I am. Mean, that's that's the roster that you constructed. You constructed this roster. Young players, you know, like Grimes and and Obi Toppin. I, I'd much rather see those guys play right now. I would. It doesn't even matter. I just put them out there. Let them play. You know, 30 minutes, who cares? Yeah, you said it right there. It doesn't matter. It, and then here we are again. I mean, it, it really is mind-boggling to think about the ineptitude of this franchise and how we got back to this point where you just feel like they're dead and irrelevant again. I mean, it. you know, last year you got a taste. It was great. It was fun. We talked about it. We were excited. I was excited at the beginning of this season. And now we sit here, and it's as, once again, it's as bad as it gets. I mean, you have the the road trip. You get the one exciting win against a team you never thought you could beat in the Warriors. The rest of the trip was terrible, and then you come back home against one of the league's worst teams, and then you end up having this loss in overtime. I mean, I can't, I, I can't do it anymore. I really, I really can't with this with this group of Knicks. I'm, 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 I'm cashing my chips out. That's it. I'm done. Doesn't matter. Whoa, you can't whoa, keep got, these you guys. Wait, wait, this, the rest, the rest of this season is. I, I can't. I. I'm not going to dedicate more of my personal life to this group of losers. I can't do it. I can't continue to do this to myself. Like I, basketball, I, and I, it's really been beaten out of me. You know, I talk about football and how the Vikings beat it out of me, but I still love football. Yeah, I love it. I love, love it. Football. I love it. I love it. I we love all it. Love football. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll sit there and watch it. I'll bet on it. I'll, you know, with the Bengals in the Super Bowl, the whole thing. But but St. John's and the Knicks have just it's almost like they are conspiring to make me hate basketball. <laughs> well, Sunday before the Super Bowl, I'm watching St. John's have an opportunity to you know, save their season against UConn, and then no, absolutely not. Why would that happen? And then the Knicks, you're like, okay, well maybe there's a little bit of a run. You're back home. Well, we'll give it a shot. Julius Randle's playing well. Uh, maybe, maybe 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 no. Okay, lost in overtime to Oklahoma City. Stop. What am I doing? It already, it's already February. It's freezing cold outside. <laughs> Football season's over. And this is what I've got in my basketball world? Is these two teams to kick me in the nuts every time I put them on? <laughs> and, this is the, and I was telling you this morning when I was limping in with, the, with, with gout and we're talking <laughs> before the show, I said the only thing that I have is to root against the Nets. Right. That's it. <laughs> and for the Islanders to somehow come back and make the playoffs and maybe make a run and who the hell knows. But it's, uh, every time I bring that up, they played a lot of hockey, Bigs. Played a lot of hockey. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not expecting them to do much. So all I've got is to be a hater. That's what I've got this morning is to be a hater. And I hate that. I don't want to be a hater. I don't want to be a hater. I want to be a lover. I want to be someone who enjoys sports. I want to be someone who gets to root for something fun. You've got that with your team. I don't have anything. I don't have. I don't have a baseball team that's scheduled to do anything because they're locked out. My football team missed the playoffs. Both my basketball teams make me want to hate myself. What? Uh, where am I here? <laughs> where am I? You're, I you're where am the, I as a sports fan? You know, I know it's also going on. You're in the middle of a prolon fast. That too. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, so you're all. You're all like edgy, like you're totally edgy. Now. Little, I am a little irritable. Right? You are irritable. You're edgy. You got the gout. You got you got all things going on in your it's life. A rough time. It, it is, is a rough stretch time. for me. It is a rough stretch. I get it. That's why you know I'm now. I am now for me because I'm not worried about baseball. They'll figure it out. I don't what, know what, when. How could you just say I, that? I don't. I, I don't They'll really figure you know, it out. You know what? I don't really care. I am so now focused in on the New York Rangers and their quest for uh. a cup. And to find out really truly how good they are and what kind of trades Chris Drury is going to make here to fortify this team to make a serious run at the cup, I got some ideas for him. Yo, you got some I, ideas for him? I know, I know one guy. One? I, I know one guy that I want. I'll tell you yeah. about him later. I know one guy that I think we should go and get like tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and if we can, uh, and I think I think he may be available. I'm not sure, but we'll have to find out. That's a little tease for Ranger fans out there. Because I will be going to the game tonight, and I will be scouting the game. Tonight. Oh, will you? you know, I will not be charting the 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 flow chart of the players on the ice and how much time they're spending on the ice. I don't I don't do that. Well, who we got? But, go, we got Randy going tonight. No, 
No, I got a couple of my boys. You got, uh, you got Dimitri coming tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you got Dimitri. Somebody, uh, I ran into somebody at a bar who said, uh, yeah, I grew up with Dimitri. And I forget who that was. But anyway, All right. so aside, you got Plansker going tonight? Yep, yep. All it's right. not Plansker, it's Plansker. Oh, sorry. Plansker, I keep doing that. Why do, you, why, do you, why do you call him Plansker? <laughs> because I thought that was his name. No. Plansker? Yeah. All right, so Plan, P-A-L-N. Yes. Plansker. Yeah. All right, uh, so uh, Plansker and Dimitri. And, uh, yeah, and Deggerness. And Deggerness. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Aaron. Yeah. I know him as Aaron. Yeah. I mean, Deggerness is a little cumbersome. It is. I would just go with Aaron. Right. You know? Right. So, all right. All right. Very good. Yeah, that that's your Ranger group right there. I like right. that. Yes. Venturing out, taking in a game. Yeah, 100%. We've it's been, been a long layoff for you guys? Well, not really. I mean, we've been to a few games. But, uh, you know, my thing now, now I'm totally, like, I'm unencumbered. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm totally unencumbered. You're unencumbered. Right. And uh, they haven't played, it seems like, in a month. Well, you're um, unencumbered because football's over type of thing? Is like that I what you're talking about? I could just finally relax, man. I could just take it easy. You know, I did the Peloton yesterday, the sauna blanket. I'm ready to go, man. So you enjoy this is like the off season. You enjoy this time of year because you get your free time. Type of I, thing. A little bit back, yes, a little bit more normalcy. I think I worked like 48 days straight there. Oh yeah, well that's so. Yeah. That was that was a little bit much, but <laughs> other than that, it was much. great. It was uh, you know right in the middle of the. The whole NFL playoffs and the mix and all this other stuff. We got the draft coming up. We got all things happening. I know one thing. Going back and watching the game film, the game pass oh, on NFL. Did, are you, you going to drop it all 22 on me right now? I'm going to drop it all 22 oh. on you. I, I will pull it up on my, on my screen. And I, and, and I have to I have to give credit to my man, Carton, because I saw one of his tweets. And it made me want to go back and look at a particular play because he was pointing out some things. And, uh, Craig, you put a tweet out yesterday on the last play of the game where Aaron Donald just goes after Joe. Yeah, Carroll. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there Mark Chase was open down the sideline. When you see it, you're going to be you're going to be like sick to your stomach because Jalen Ramsey falls. He falls. And, and when he falls, it's about 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. And Jamar Chase is just running down I mean, the field. Did, did Joe Burrow him. have any sort no, no, of time no, to no, make he, the... he didn't. He didn't. So I'm then what's saying, the point? Well, the point is, is that the game could have been won. Right then and there, had the offensive line of the Bengals oh, okay. been able to to, well, to even just slow down Aaron Donald, maybe for a half. I a was going to say, I mean, it wasn't Joe Burrow's but fault. If you watch, he had you no see, shot to get that ball out of there. You can't see this, but down the field, about twenty yards, uh, Jamar Chase is standing wide open as Jalen Ramsey fell. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he fell again. <laughs> I mean, and you want to talk about a guy, you know, I know Eli Apple's taking a lot of heat from sure. the NFL players and all this other crap for, you know, getting beat. I guess he must have been mouthing off to the Kansas City Chiefs when they beat him in the AFC Championship game. But um, this would have been Jalen Ramsey's worst nightmare because he had gotten beaten already by T. Higgins, and now it was going to be Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase also made a, you know another great catch over him early in the game. Isn't this one of those if I had balls, I'd right, be, yeah, be my aunt scenarios? Isn't that one of these things? I mean, Aaron Donald dominated. I mean, you could stop and look at every single play and be like, well, if he didn't get sacked here, he could have done this. But he did. You know, he got it's sacked not, six times in his second it's half. Not, Aaron, it's, Aaron Donald basically wrecked the game. Yeah, I mean, it's not Bengals. as if he was standing back there. Like, you know, there were a couple of times that I remember watching Daniel Jones, and it was actually one of the Monday night games that they played. And Brian Greasy, we pointed this out the next morning, was saying, "Hey, look, you know, I would have. This guy's open over here. I maybe would have done this instead. Like, if if Joe Burrow were standing in the pocket and had time, and then threw to a covered wide receiver while Jamar Chase was streaking down the sideline uncovered because Jalen Ramsey that, that, that uh, then I would have been like, "Wow, man!" It also would have been a ballsy throw on his part because it's fourth and one. So he's thinking, I got to get the ball out of my hands quick. I got to right. hit a short guy. He's not thinking, okay, it's one and one, uh, Chase and Ramsey in this situation, and I am gonna, and I am gonna go for this, right then and there. That you know, if he did that, and he would have thrown the ball, yeah, and Jamar right, Chase balls would be my aunt, yeah, and went for a touchdown. That would have been legendary stuff. But that would have been. You're asking an awful lot of any quarterback, let alone a second year quarterback, to to, to be looking out there against. Everybody's arguably best corner in in the NFL, well, especially when you had in that no situation shot. in fourth and one. I mean, I mean, if the uh, and they were just playing on CBS Sports Network, you watch it again. It I happened. Mean, he went. Yeah, he was he was under pressure in a nanosecond. Yeah, I know, so, I know. I mean, but I'm just saying. I, I just went back and looked at it. You know, I said, okay, can I go back and look at it? Yeah, you can go back to the old twenty two if you like. See, yeah. he was. See, Joe was looking left anyway. He wasn't even looking right. Right. You know, so it's just. 
just one of those things, like you see in the All-22. And, and, you know, the interesting thing about this particular situation, Aaron Donald was lined up to the right, the offense's left. And, you know, for most of the game, he was also lined up on the other side against the offensive right side, which was, you know, at, was struggling throughout the playoffs. Yeah. And now all of a sudden they move him to the left. Raheem Morris did a good job of moving him around. And uh, he just basically busted through there before. And, you know, Burrow had no chance. Yeah, and all these discussions that are out there about where Aaron Donald ranks and the greatest defensive players of all time now that he had the game that he did. Now, he wasn't the Super Bowl MVP. Could have been. He wasn't the Super Bowl MVP. Um, but winning a Super Bowl championship and having the impact on the game that he did uh, just further just grows his legacy. And those same discussions are happening with Matthew Stafford, of course, with the Hall of Fame and all that stuff. I mean, but, can we, why don't we just let a guy finish his career out, and then when his career is done, because, yeah. you know, it's Matthew Let him Stafford, throw another 120, 125 interceptions, and uh, then we'll uh, uh, take a look at the uh, whole uh, the Let me whole ask resume. you a question. I mean, is, is, is Matthew Stafford retiring anytime soon? Uh, I don't think so. It seems like everybody else on the Rams is. Yeah, but, I, but what my point about the whole discussion about the Hall of Fame, the guy is, is still in the middle of his career. He's mm-hmm. got... You know, he's going to sign a four- or five-year contract extension. I mean, I, I don't know why even anybody's discussing it. The middle of his career? It. He still has four or five years that left. That wouldn't be the middle of his career, though, would it be? All right, so what's the back third of his career? There how you about go. that? That sounds... How about that? How about that? Is that, that right? I mean, me. why, why are we even arguing about it or even talking about it? It seems like so stupid. I'm not a big Hall of Fame discussion guy, i got to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, then why did you bring it up then? I don't know. Because uh, I'm, I'm you don't not want to sure. talk about the Knicks. I guess. So, but I, again, I, just to go back to this Nick game last night. So you get fooled by statistics, you know, triple doubles, this and all that. I mean, when the game is on the line, is when you find out about who your players are and what they do, and 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 whether or not they're capable of winning games against bottom feeding teams <laughs> in crunch time. And your best player again throws the ball away. He threw the ball. <laughs> the first row of the stands. Yeah. Just he, he threw the ball out underneath the basket. Just <laughs> brutal. I mean, it's it, it it's like you're in overtime. You're down by four. There's 30 seconds to go, and you throw the ball <laughs> into the front row of the stands right over the bench of the OKC. Just Thunder. perfect. It's just perfect. I mean, like, I, th- this is the kind of crap that I'm talking That's about. That's your 21-22 Knicks in a nutshell right there. But, again, a triple-double triple, triple played three good games in a row. Meaningless. But in crunch time, balls getting thrown away, shots not made, uh, up, you know, fouls, offensive yeah. fouls, like out-of-control players. You know, Emmanuel Quickly, you know, just again, I love Emmanuel Quickly. I really do like him, but, man, there are times where his hair is on fire. Yeah, well, that's that'll be the. I'm saying goodbye to the Knicks this morning. You are. Uh, that'll be the last time that I watch these guys for the rest of the year. That's it. Last night was it. See ya. See you later. You're not gonna watch. I'm gonna. Again. I'm gonna start watching Ozark. I've been putting that. I have to finish Yellowstone. Uh-huh. The Tinder Swindler. Uh, I tried Thousand Pound Best Friends after Thousand Pound Sister stopped. Did not like didn't, Thousand didn't Pound Best Friends. Thousand Pound somebody's just die uh no probably 600 pound life yeah. person probably died yeah they they they've chronicled so many lives that it's just uh you know one of them just died percentages yeah uh, but not one of the thousand pound sisters so i'm just starting that when the knicks are on i'm going to start going into the rotation there the uh, love is blind is back on netflix i think i'll try that out uh but the knicks this year to waste any more time on that team i can't do it i'm an adult i gotta make adult decisions i'm so you can tell me about it I'll just say, hey, what happened with the Nick game last night? You're going to sit there and, and, and torture yourself watching these bombs. I, I don't, what am I supposed to do? I mean, like, you know, I felt like I wasted two and a half hours of my life Ex- last night. There you, I will say bingo. that. Bingo. Bingo. This is I, what I'm talking. I can't do this anymore. I, I'm wasting my time. God. I watched a Russian war flick yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, T-34. Was, was, it, was it was uh, it CBS News? No, 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 oh. it wasn't. No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it was, it was about World War II. Oh, all right. It was T-34. Good. It was good, actually. All right, good. The tank battle. A little tank battle situation. German Panzers. All right. Boomer. I mean, they're getting ready to go through this whole thing again over there. So they just getting yourself prepped? Uh, yeah, just, you know, I don't know. See what happens.